Hey everybody, welcome to CRNT Designers. This is Chetan, and in this tutorial, we are going to create a dome-shaped Boolean design. So, if you are new on this YouTube channel, then don't forget to subscribe to YouTube channel. And now, let's get started. To create the design, first we need to create the base. So that's why you need to add the cube and then scale it down along the z-axis. Then you need to apply the scale, so Ctrl A and then apply the scale and then go to the edit mode, select the top and bottom face and then Ctrl B to add the bevel on it and add one segment bevel which will be fine. So add the bevel here and give the right width for the bevel. So after that you need to add the loop cuts, so add the loop cuts, Ctrl R and then add the loop cuts like this. Then you need to select this corner edges and then you need to add the bevel on this corner edges. So Ctrl B and then add a bevel and add a two segment bevel. So give the right width for the bevel. And then select this words, right click and then connect vertex path and create a core based topology. The core based topology is important so that's why I'm adding the loop cuts like this. So I can create the decent boolean so then you need to add the submarine surface modifier and then add a necessary loop curves on the models to maintain the form of the model and to maintain the design so that's why I just add a loop curves like this and create the harder and smoother edges on the model and adjust the scale of this edges so you will get a decent look on the model and you can notice here I have created the core based topology and that and those cards looks like a square so I can easily create that dome shaped boolean. So shift A and then add a rounded cube means the chord sphere at there choose the operator's preset chord sphere make sure extra mesh add-on should be on then you can add the rounded cube and then scale it down that cube means the rounded cube or you can see the chord sphere and adjust the scale of the chord sphere along the z-axis so just scale it down a little bit along the z-axis and give the right position to it on the surface and now you can see adjusting the size is very important so you can reduce your efforts you can avoid the triangles and ingons and you will get the right chords at there then you need to use the difference operation difference boolean operation and then just adjust the size of that chord sphere and try to avoid the triangles So you can adjust the size by using the scale tool and you can adjust its position. Then you can apply that boolean modifier on the base and then you can delete that chord sphere. Okay now you can see we got the right decent boolean. So select everything and press M and merge by distance double words will get merged. And now we need to create the right chord based topology at there. So that's why you need to add the loop cuts like this and then right click and then connect vertex path and create a chord based topology across the model and then select everything mesh and then symmetrize take the symmetry from the different axis so you can reduce your efforts and now you need to select these edges so just select these edges and then control B to add the bevel on these edges and add a three se uh, two segment bevel and give the right width for the bevel and then turn on your submarine surface modifier and you can see we got a decent look on the model so just shade smooth it and here is your design and you can see it's look decent you can see its topology everything is chord chord based topology we have created here so that's why we are creating the decent look on the model so thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe our youtube channel bye bye so in the next video take care